How is it going everyone? My name is Roskai and I'll be showing off the grass version of Mew Tree. You don't see many Mew Trees that focus on grass types do you? Which I think is a shame because there are so many good grass type GX Pokemon which all have like the special GX. All of those GX moves really just completely changed your game. Your whole your whole round, your whole game, whatever. It's just a game changing move with almost all of them. So this is why I think it's a good idea to actually start with the grass deck from Mew Tree. So I got this Mew Tree, a special thank to, to my buddy Bucket from the Discord server. He lent me these uh, Mew Trees so I um, so I could like try them out. He, he was curious to see what kind of ideas I would come up with, and he suggested grass uh, as a first one. I will make I will be making a lot more videos with Mew Tree, like uh, fighting will be the next one, for example. But yeah, uh, I will be making a lot of standard decks with Mew Tree, with Mew Tree GX, and I will be doing my best to enjoy everyone here. So how this deck is performing is absolutely fantastic. It's really, really versatile. Um, yeah, typing wise, it's great. If you need the grass to get the weakness, that's perfect. If you don't want to get hit by weakness by fire, you use Mew Tree. Perfect. And the way it, this deck works is um, the, mo the main. I'm gonna talk about the main engine of this deck is Rillaboom. Rillaboom gets you two energies from the, your deck onto your Pokémon, which is an absolute overkill ability. I love it. It's just a really good one. So we run a 3 2 2 align. The reason for a 2 from Twaki is to get an evolution going with the um, Agro, Agro, yeah, Agro, that's how you call it. Row Rowlet and Alolan Executor GX with Super Growth ability. Uh, attack actually. <laughs> Search a deck for a card that revolves. So I'm not gonna read it out loud, but what it does essentially is when you have a Krugi on your bench, you use this attack, he will evolve from Qu to Quacky. And then Rillaboom all in that one turn. It's insane. It's so overkill this attack. So what you want to do on your first turn is get a Mutri on your front. If you can't then you get an, a, a routed execu um, Executor in front. And you get a Grookey on your bench. Uh, if you have Mutri in the active spot you get a Grookey on your bench. So what I see, when, uh, imagine I, I start with this and I have a quick ball. I discard this um, Egg Row. And I get a Grookey on my bench, and then I'm set. I can just use the attack, get an energy on my uh, Mew Tree first, and then use the attack. And then next turn, I can get up to four energies, uh, three energies in one turn, but in total, four energies on that Mew Tree. And then next turn, I can use the ability to fully power the GX of this Egg Row, which is top Tropical Hour, which, if it has three more energies attached to it, it not only does 200 damage, it will remove all of your opponent's energy into their deck all of it it's insane imagine if you if you run a fire deck and you use like three of your all three of your welders well they're in the discord pal mate you won't be using them again and he's gonna have a hard time to get his energies back uh, it's also very good against ADP because when ADP attacks he gets energies from the deck onto his Pokemon which is a is one of the biggest issues that people uh, face when they face ADP but then this card just completely ignores it because it doesn't exist in for him. All those energies just go and he won't be able to get them back since you don't discard those energies. Um, so he won't be using any metal sources. But then if you knock the ADP out then, yeah, then that's the case. But alright. So this is, uh, yeah, that's what you are supposed to do. In a lot of situations this GX is the one that kills all of your opponents. But, but, you have a lot of other options. So my main second option will be uh, Vermosa and Buzzwall GX. Uh, not only Jet, Jet Punch is very handy in some um, some situations, but also Elegant Soul is the has the biggest attack. I mean the biggest amount of damage that it does. So yeah, that's why uh, 190 is pretty much. That's a lot. So yeah, uh, if you do 190 for three energies, it's uh, pretty much, and then you can finish him off with something else like Calming Hurricane which heals 30 damage from your Pokemon which could be a game changer as well if you can heal 30 damage perhaps you can survive another turn who knows so yeah that's uh, that's also a way to go and um, I'm gonna talk about this beast game ability um, no GX sorry GX so the beast game GX um, it does 50 damage which is not a lot you can use it for one grass energy but if you attach seven more energies to this Pokemon 
you can take up to three more prize cards if you kill an opponent with this. Well, if you have one energy attached to it, you get one extra prize, so you could essentially get take four if you knock out a tag team with this ability in uh, GX. But you could also just win the game. This is a perfect, a, a perfect GX move for any decks that have not so many HP or run a lot of one prizes. So you want to make sure that you can knock them out next turn with 50 damage. So you don't want to go too far on damage. So you could be using Crunch Punch or whatever to get damage but not enough to kill them. And then finish them off with Beast Game which takes 8 energies. Yeah. So you have to plan that up front before, because you can't power this thing up. You, you need a, at least 3 turns to get 8 energies on your Pokemon. So yeah. Uh, good luck with that. But it's not that hard, you can pull it off if you need to. So that's how, what you want to do against one prizes. Okay, yeah, so that was that. Then we run also one Venusaur and Snive GX. Now this ability here is really cool, because you can gust with it just uh, well, by attaching an energy. But also it's GX, GX could be very handy. So yeah, the damage is not what you're going to go for, but it could also help you out, out in some cases. Uh, but what you really want to do is actually heal all your Pokemon. So if you if you have two Mews, Mew trees, yeah, and they're very low, they have both like 20 HP left. Well, you use this Solar Plant GX, and you have two Mew trees fully healed. Now that could be devastating, because <laughs> then you they they basically start from scratch again to kill your Mew trees. So this could also be a game changer. That's why I put it here. Uh, only one Buzz Wall Pheromones, because it's very good, but not in all cases. So yeah, one is enough. I definitely picked two of these two, uh, Eggrow, because that's just very important. It's the main engine of this whole deck. Uh, then we run some GX Pokemon that are not grass at all. So we have a Lola Muck and a Lola Muck. And the nasty Gumix GX, which costs us four energies. And it paralyzes and poisons them and does 150 damage during each Pokemon, uh, yeah, Pokemon checkup. So that does 300 damage when it's again your turn. It's insane. Um, it could be uh, very useful in some cases. So yeah, but I haven't seen many m uh, moments where I needed this. But yeah, it could be very useful someday. And then we also run an Incineroar GX. Now this Incineroar GX is also very powerful. It can knock out anything in one shot. So this Darkness Tornado GX, it does 10 damage plus 50 for each damage counter on this Pokemon. That's, that's absolutely insane, man. If you have 5 damage counters on you, which is only 50 damage, a 50 damage, you do 260 damage. So if someone hits you for like 100 damage, you do 510 damage. Yeah, that's that's just insane, you know. So yeah, that's why it's in it. It's a really good um, GX. And Crunchy Punch can actually be very good as well. If that's a big target and you can two-shot it, or you don't want him to attack, then you use Crunchy Punch. And there, the special energy goes away. So those were all the GX Pokemon, I think. No, 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 I missed one. So we have Valbloom GX. Now this card here is, you, you may not like it that much, but it's actually very good it's for the two energies attack. So imagine your two Rillabooms are priced. Now what you want to do then? You want to attack, right? So the best thing you can do in the first turn is 280 with Massive Bloom, which costs only two energies. And this 180 minus 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So you can't use it late game since then you will be hit and you don't want to use this attack then. But it's really good early game for its low energy cost and high damage output. And they also run this, um, it also has this aller allergic explosion GX, 50 damage and it's paralyzed, burned and poisoned. This could be a game changing move as well if you see that you can get a KO um, or like really disturb them. It's just a last resort GX to be honest if you don't have any energies. It's really good that way. And then our supporter Pokemon is one Crobat V and two Dedenne Dead GX. I run two of these since I run Cherry's Balls, but also I want to discard as many things Pokemon as I can. So yeah, that's why. Uh, and then our items and our stadiums. So we run four Cherry's Balls, three Switches, two Ordinary Rots, four Quick Balls. Now these are just a perfect combo. So you pick a GX that you want to discard or like use. So you, you want to discard it. You pick one. Okay, I'm gonna get Aggrow. And then you use your Quick Ball to discard that Aggrow and then get something like a Grookey in play. 
So if you only have these two in your hand and a new tree, whatever, you're fine. You can already be playing, and that happens a lot. I can assure you that. And we also run three Viridian Forests. It's all right for energy, but it's not really the, the thing where we have it. It's a good discard. Plus, we need something to get rid of those <laughs> power plants because if they have a power plant in play, we're screwed. We can't use this Pokemon. But if we see that they have it in play, well, yeah, we can just switch it to uh, one of these grass Pokemon. We don't need to discard them, you know? So that's also an option. Uh, and then we have two Professor's Research, only two because we already have two Dedenes and a Crobat V, so yeah, a two is enough. Two Bosses Order, because Gusting is very important. And then we have four Marnies, because we still need something to be sure that we can have good hands and disturb the other opponent's hand. We run one Mellow and Lana, because it's not always the case that you can heal and it will change much, but once you can do it, it could be devastating. So that's why it's one there, uh, not too many, because otherwise I will be seeing it way too much while I don't need it or don't want it. Then we, uh, in total, our energies, we need a lot of them, okay? So we have 15 normal cross energies. Um, the reason for this is because this ability here, it really sucks up all the energy you have. And imagine you have 8 on this boy, and then like 5 energies are in the, in the prize. And they discard some, yeah, you're screwed, man. <laughs> you can't really be doing much else with other Pokemon. So that's why it's here. And that's also why we run Ordinary Rot. Um, and what we also can do with Ordinary Rot is, uh, imagine we have two Rillabooms in our hands, and we can't, we don't have a good hand. Then I change, get an Ordinary Rot, and there, you have them back in the deck, so you can get them with all um, Egg Row. Yeah, that's also really why this one is here. Um, it's also okay for energies, but that's not the real reason why it's here but yeah this was the deck list and i hope you all will enjoy the gameplay cheers all right so this is our first match Flip the coin we lose it i always lose this coin only this coin though like with other coins like the raikou one uh it's all right okay so it seems that it's gonna be a mew tree again let's hope it's on a fire since we have to start with this tag team cross don't be fire. Okay, that's a dead end. It could be anything still. <laughs> Shit. So we start off with a Marnie, which is alright. I hope we top deck the Grookey. <laughs> and otherwise, we will need to pull anything like a Quick Ball or a Grookey. Oh, excuse me. Burps always happen here. So this is a Decidueye deck. Uh, I don't like it. Don't like it a bit. But it's possible. So what you have to do against these kind of decks is wait until the right moment and gust out that Pokemon. That's what you want to do. And why the hell did he use that scoop of net? He wasted it. Completely wasted that scoop of net. But yeah, um, so what you want to do is gust out something with Beast game. Uh, that's it. <laughs> you just want to gust out something with Beast game. And kill it. So you, so you take four prizes out, uh, out of that one Pokemon. And we top deck the Grookey. Perfect. That is just absolutely... Fantastic news for us. So we get our first round Grookey. Now, I know it seems like it's luck, lucky, but it happens a lot. It's not really rare in this deck to start off with this. Unless, I mean, it, it could be the case that uh, you have to you have to use the Egg Row because you can't discard him as an attacker. But it, it happens a lot that you can just discard this Grookey, uh, this Egg Row, and then get Grookey. It's, I don't know, it's, it's just really consistent. I like it. So next turn we can be dealing some 150 damage. Really need to watch out for that. For the uh, Rowlet. So he gets an energy instead of the Quick Ball. He wastes, he wastes a Quick Ball. Now he probably has something like a Rare Candy. Yup, he has a Rare Candy. Choice. So he has that thing in play already. Well, he has to put something else in play, and then we can charge up for the other. Oh, thank you, thank you. Please put something else in play. Okay, we got a boss. Okay, what I'm gonna do is get a GX like this boy. I'm gonna discard him. We're gonna get a crowbar. So 
Oh, we attach this one right there. Ah, uh, actually, I should not have done that. Ooh. Scheiße. Alright. Well, we don't want to use this his GX, so... Okay, I'm gonna put this boy right here. Wow, okay, so we just stop take anything we need. I'm gonna want it, because I don't want to lose the boss's orders. Ah, perfect, perfect. So, we can use Delay Change, which we will. So, let's get a GX that we want to discard. This one right here, why not? And let's discard these two. And the reason why I discard them is just in case I really need it. That won't really happen a lot, but yeah, it could be the case that we really can use it. Uh, this this can be a later knockout with the jet punch, a double knockout could be the case. Or the jet punch, jet punch is needed to lower someone and then cast him, could be the case as well. Yeah, that's what I would do. He uses a money, which is good news. Now, hopefully, we'll get a boss's order. Okay, so we got this all. You know what I'm gonna do at this point is attack, um, attach to Rillaboom and try to get a knockout with Rillaboom. We can't do that this turn, even though we have a switch in our hands. But yeah, um, get some get some pushing going, and uh, we can heal ourselves with this attack, which is good news. So let's do that. So yeah, next turn I will charge the Mew Tree with the ability and then we can attack with Rillaboom. That's not really the case why Rillaboom is here, you know, but it does work, it does work. It does one-shot all those on the Sigewise. Now he will probably get something that will give him more HP. You know, he got another the Sigewise in play, which is alright, that's good. But this still is a target for the Buzzwall. I really hope, man, that he keeps one of these here. Yeah, that's 50 HP, exactly. And otherwise we can just get a Dedenne out and then we get 5 prize cards. If it's fully charged, we get 5 prize cards. Yeah, that's just insane, you know? 5 prize cards, why one attack? Yeah, that's just an instant winner, man. So once we get Rillaboom, uh, once we kill the, the Sigewire with Rillaboom, we're good. For some reason it attaches the Balloon. Just to get more draw, I guess. Alright, so we're gonna attack next turn with Rillaboom. It's gonna be great. So let's attach this one right there. And let's get these two energies onto Mew Tree. Um, how many do we have in the Discord? Well, only one. Since I have seen that we don't have that many energies in the deck anymore. Perhaps not enough to charge this Mew Tree, which is what I'm afraid of. How many rods do I still have left? Okay, so I have one rod left in the deck. I should be good if I do this, but I'm just gonna save it actually. I'm gonna save it. Keep it. And he needs to he needs to attack twice again after this, so yeah. Okay, we got a load of muck. Can't do much with this boy actually. Can't do anything. Okay, gets another Pokemon in play. That's good news for us. Okay, does not have another Rowlet. Well, we do have the Tadene, I forget. I forgot. Ooh, he brings us in a tough spot. Now, at this point, I really wish I had a Mellow Alana. So we will do 90. We have 30 damage left, so we can... So he needs to attack twice and again after this one to be able to do anything. So what I'm gonna do is... I know it's risky to not heal it with the GX move, but I don't want to. It's not worth it. I need to get a KO with the other things. So I now we have more than two in this discard pile, so it's worth to get two more in the deck. So now we have enough in the deck to actually get the beast game attack going. Oh man, I need a boss. I need a boss. He 
still needs to attack us twice <laughs> to kill the Grinapu. It was pretty foolish to actually go for it, this boy. He's probably gonna concede at this point since he does not have anything else in play. Perhaps we don't even need um, Beast Game. I mean, at this point, we're pretty much winning, but yeah, don't shout too early. So he got a rot, so he. Wait, what? He did not actually get anything out of his discard pile. Why? He got he got the Sigewire out of his discard pile. No, no Rowlets. This, that's, that's his last Rowlets. Dude. <laughs> My dude. Baba boy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm never gonna say that again. <laughs> Okay, I really hope, I really hope that we pull anything to get draw. We could pull um, uh, a Cherish Ball, a Quick Ball, whatever to get draw. <sighs> Jesus, <laughs> he has only 8 cards in his deck left. It's really actually, I, I didn't realize that before, but 140 damage is the exact same we need to knock out anything else. Why would you do it? I don't understand this boy. Why? <laughs> Is this a bot? Is this really a bot? <laughs> he keeps using this scoop up net for no reason. Okay, this was not really a, an honorable honorable match, sadly. But yeah, I haven't played today, so this is the first win of the day. Alright, that was pretty sad. I really want to pull off the beast game and show you guys, but yeah. So this was the first match, and off to the next one. Alright, second match. He has the storm card coin. Ooh. I'm gonna upload Friday. Uh, this Friday I'm gonna upload a video on how to, you should play with storm call since people call me the storm call legend. <laughs> oh shit, this is not a good start. Starting with Phoenix or Snivy. But still it's actually a really good start since you do have this gusting. And that's just really annoying. And it's again that the opponent starts with the Dedene. Oof, that just hurts really hurts. Um, he seems to be playing something else than, I mean, he seems to be playing electric, so like Pika Room, which a load and execute a GX is a good thing for it, really good. Mm, what should I do? So what do we have? We have a money for next turn to get draw, which means that if we get a new tree in play, the odds of us actually being able to discard a Rowlet is not that high. So what we're gonna do is discard this Rowlet. Agro. Agro. And we're not... Oh wait, yeah. We're gonna get energy. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. Just be sure that we can attack next turn. Mm. And yeah, why not? Extra draw. Mm, too bad. I was, like, I was hoping for a Grookey. Then we wouldn't have to worry about that next turn. Perhaps he's got a money for us. Who knows? Would be nice if we did that. So he's gonna get his Pika Room and his Raichu, I believe. Or the Dene and a Pika Room. Actually, this was uh, this card here. Um, electronic electromagnetic radar was my first ever gold card. It was pretty cool. And if for some reason he gets his two Pika rooms and gets them in play, which is a foolish idea, mate. Because yeah, we can like if we use um, elegant soul and then beast game, we're, we won't. <laughs> then we get like wait so. Yeah, we can we can get like three plus three cards, so we get six prize cards just from killing one <laughs> opponent. Now who the hell who the hell here said ADP is overpowered, mate? Beast game, that's the overpowered card. So we got a switch, which will be handy if we top deck uh, Mew Tree. Okay, he got a Bolt and V, full out one, which is expensive. Now, now it see now it's a shame that you put an energy on your bolt, uh, on your picker, because what you're gonna do now? Oh, energy switch, of course, of course he has it. <laughs> but now how are you, how are you gonna retreat? But what's the point of attaching this if you can't really retreat? <laughs> and he has a switch, of course. Wow. Now get two energies right there. Do it. 
Show me what you got. It's hot. So I electrify and he's gonna attach two to the pika room with Yeah with the air balloon on it. So next turn he will do 150 damage and get his um, GX going. What we are gonna do is get that other Pika room in play. Hello there. And now we're gonna use Marnie. We're probably gonna get something like a, a switch for him. Okay, so we got a really, really good hand. Really nice. So let's just discard all those GX Pokemon. Mmm, perfect. And now, okay, so this is the moment where we really shine. Get. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. So we get a new tree. And. This one. To get. Oh, 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 oh I was almost gonna get two new trees. Alright. Yeah, and all we need now is a switch. We already used our Ditane, but let's just do this. And otherwise, it's gonna Marnie us. So, yeah. Sad that we can't evolve him right now, but mm -hmm. you gotta deal with it, mate. I'm curious as if he has another switch. I wouldn't really mind if you, uh, if you uh, discard that energy. I don't really care. So, a big charm on the Bolton, so we can't scale it with a GX move. And he skipped his turn. Perfect! No, that, yeah, that's just perfect, man. So, yeah, let's get this that they change. Wait, if I look at this, now, okay. So, we gotta do this. And we don't have any switches any more for some reason. How many switches do I have left? I have still three, in it, three switches in my deck. Yeah, okay, so we got our switch. Very sweet, very good. Okay, um... Yeah, we'll see if we have another Rillaboom in our deck. Please do. Yes, okay. I didn't check before. I should do that. <laughs> Otherwise, I would be surprised and not happy. Alright, so... Yeah, I think we have to be, like, attacking with... This is Naivy. Well, I... You know, I can't really charge anything at this point. We only have the Venusaur Naivy in play. With already two energies attached to them. So, yeah. I, gu I guess we can use... Um, Elegant Soul on a Pika Room and then cast out another Pika Room, use another, again Elegant Soul and then go for the GX move of the Venusaur. You know? But the thing is, Elegant Soul you can only use it once and then after the, tur and then the next turn it does nothing. So we got a uh, Birth Keeper. You will go for this GX move. It's gonna be tight, mate. Um, so I can get three energies on here, which means he has four energies attached to himself. How many switches does he have? Has he has he used yet? Only one. No, no, two. So he has two left in his 15 card deck. I want to heal everything, you know, with this this boy. So all the Pika Roms are like in one shot range. Okay, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Professor's Research. Yeah. For that last switch, we still have um, we still have a good amount of switches in our deck, so we should be able to do that. Let's just do that for no reason. Right. We really want that switch. Okay, we got a few. Okay, um, I suppose getting energy back in the deck won't hurt, and that's it. We just want our energy back. Uh, well, uh, actually, I'm gonna do both. So we're gonna get Mewtwo and Willaboom. Why not? And then the two energies. Perfect. So let's do 50 damage to each of my opponent's Pokémon. Perfect. So now all these Pokemon are in one shot range of all the attacks that I have uh, uh, available to me. And all my Pokemon are healed up completely, so we are safe. Now all we need is another switch. <laughs> it's 
to be able to do um, elegant soul on this pika rom so we will do 200 damage on this one and then 170 damage on something you will probably knock out this delene which is actually in a way good news for us no he won't go for the knockout on the delene actually yeah that's pretty smart of him Okay, so let's just charge up this boy, I guess. We're pretty screwed in like, a lot of ways. <laughs> ah man, that's too bad. So we didn't pull any switches. So yeah, we're very screwed in this position. Very, very screwed. He's gonna knock out this boy, and then after that, he's gonna knock out this one. So I'm gonna say, well played. You have a good deck. Yeah, it didn't turn out quite like I, how I imagine it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, we would have knocked it this one out, and then he would knock out this. Yeah, actually, no, we would have been screwed either way. I think we had a bad start with the Venus or it's Navy. It happens, you know, you don't really have a choice. It just happens. Okay, what we're gonna try here is... It's like retreat into this menu tree. Maybe we'll not be able to gust anything. It's not the best idea, but yeah. What will you do, hey? What can you do? About it. We don't have any, we don't have much Pokemon in our discard pile, which is actually very sad. I was thinking to do 180. Oh, God damn, man. Am I, am I really screwing myself over like this? Okay, you know what? We're gonna knock out that Pika room right there. We jet punch. And then we lower this one to 150. Aha, there's Vile Plume. But not like we're gonna need it. So all we need right now is a boss. And we won. We got a boss! <laughs> oh no way! We got a fucking boss! Oh no, nah, nah man, nah, nah. Oh, that hurts. We got an actual boss. We did actually get a boss. Oh, but he got a boss as well. <laughs> that was close. How did we actually get a boss? Jesus, man. Now that was crazy. If I, if he didn't have, if di he did not have a boss, that turn. Oh boy, that would be beautiful, beautiful comeback. But yeah, that was not really the best game you can imagine. Um, I will actually explain um, a really good matchup for this deck. Um, yeah, Picarom, as you have seen, with a beast game, it's a perfect matchup. You know. I have not been able to pull it off since I started with a Venusaur Snivy and I used its GX to heal up. I thought that was a good idea in the game, but yeah. It was a really good pick a rom deck, I liked it. But yeah, let me explain real quick to you guys how you are able to... Um, uh, how you need to play against ADP, yes. This deck here is actually very efficient against ADP. So Arceus, let's go. Arceus, where are you mate? Here. So, ADP, yeah? It uses its attack. It has 150 damage, 180, sorry. It just, first it's GX, okay? You do 200 damage with your Rowlets. Uh, first you do some 150 damage or whatever with any of your attacks. And then you do 200 damage with your GX of Rowlets, Egg Row, okay? You, you get all the energy gone. And then what you want to do is use the Elegant Soul on one of those Sashions, since it will be attacking with Sashions next turn. If it manages to get one charge next turn, if not, then you're pretty, like, you're sitting tight. But you do, you use elegant soul on one of those sessions, yeah, because um, yeah, it's very likely that we will ha we will have two at play. And what you then do is use jet punch, which will so uh, a session. A session has 220 HP, so yeah, you do um, 190 damage. It has 30 damage left. Jet punch does 30. And 30 to one of the bench so you do uh, you do 30 damage on the session with 30 damage uh, hp left you knock this one out 
and you weaken the next one and then yeah after that you can just use elegant soul again but yeah the the next session will probably be able to knock out your uh, mew tree which is alright since you will have another mew tree on the bench that can attack with three energies and kill the session so that's how you need to play against ADP and it works like every time like you all you need is an aggro the buzz wall and your mew tree and then the riddle boom that's all you need all the other pokemon no you don't need them so yeah that's uh that's completely how you have to play against adp it works so good it works well man most adp decks actually concede before losing which is the same which is the shame yeah but yeah um so that's how you play against adp i want to explain that real quick now let's move on to the deck outro mm -hmm. so we got where is it? where is it right here so let's um, yeah, let's uh, say goodbye to this beautiful deck. So this was the Mew, Mew Tree deck list. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of decks. I will be making um, a separate playlist. Oops. <laughs> I will be making a separate playlist for all the Mew Tree videos coming in the future. So the next typing I will be covering with Mew Tree is fighting type, since you don't see that often as well. So yeah. Stay tuned for the Mew Treat Fighting type, I will be working on it after this video. Uh, if you have any suggestions about this deck or any thoughts, please let me know in the comments. And I will see you all in the next video. Cheers and have fun.